हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू एवरीबडी आई एम नमिता योर फ्रेंड वेलकमिंग यू टू माय चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू एवरीबडी आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो वी आर डूइंग पेपर ट्वेल्व लर्निंग असेसमेंट ओके फ्रॉम दैट यूनिट फोर सो यूनिट फोर इन यूनिट फोर वी डिड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू थ्री ऑल्सो ओवर ब्लू प्रिंट ओवर सिक्स एंड सेवन ओवर सो टुडे विल डू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंस्ट्रक्शनल लर्निंग एंड असेसमेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव्स विल डू टुडे ओके एंड फ्रेंड्स इफ माय वीडियो इज रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू देन प्लीज प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब ओके हु आर ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब देन यू प्लीज लाइक एंड कॉमेंट एंड शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स Okay, friends. Now we'll start. What? What is the difference between instructional learning and assessment objective? We will understand what is instructional objective, learning objective, and assessment objective. Okay. so friends normally instructional means what what do you understand by instructional instructional means what giving instruction okay uh, for example you are going you are writing an exam okay in exam hall there the the invigilator or the exam who is there the teacher will give some instruction to you okay so instructional means instruction giving instruction how to do okay how to do what what not to do how to teach learning means what learning objective learning objective means learning means what sikhna learning means to to get some knowledge to get some knowledge or skill you learn you will learn some knowledge you will learn some skill right now assessment assessment means what assessment means to evaluate to know how much the students how much the students got got knowledge to evaluate the student or to measure the students learning outcomes okay apne bachcho ko jo padhaya tha unko kitna samajh mein aaya okay so these three are very very important in education process instruction learning and assessment the three are aligned with each other these three objectives are aligned with each other which objectives instructional objective learning objective and assessment objective so what do you mean by instructional objective give instruction give instruction what to teach okay see uh the math teacher whatever she wants she will not teach what is the instruction in book according to that the teacher will teach you right see in your book uh, real number real number about triangle or rectangle some some instructions are there right um, instruction for teachers how to teach what to teach okay and what supposed to be learned kya bachcho ko kya sikhana hai what to teach the students some instructions are there and learning objective means learning goals aap bachche ko kya sikhana chahte ho okay what what knowledge you want to give to the student what skill you want to teach the student learning outcomes learning goals assessment means what how well the students have learned how well कितने अच्छे से बच्चे सीखा एंड इवाल्यूट द स्टूडेंट्स लर्निंग टू नो द स्टूडेंट्स एजुकेशनल आउटकम सो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड व्हाट डू मीन बाय दिस थ्री ऑब्जेक्टिव्स एंड थ्री दिस थ्री ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आर अलाइंड विद ईच अदर फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन इंस्ट्रक्शन टू लर्निंग लर्निंग टू असेसमेंट असेसमेंट टू अगेन दिस इज ए साइकिल लाइक दैट ओके एंड नाउ will understand properly here 
instructional objective what instructional objective we already understood what do you mean by instructional instruction also known as instructional objective also known as behavioral objective or learning objective please remember instructional objective also known as behavioral objective or learning objective okay now what instructional objective specifies it specify exactly what is supposed to be learned what is supposed to be learned please remember this point okay it specifies it specifies the teacher what to be supposed to teach it is helpful to both teacher as well as the learner it provides direction to the teacher it provides direction to the teacher in the teaching learning process to attain the stated objective so it provides direction to the teacher instructional objective provides direction to the teacher it's not measurable you can't measure it is the instruction for someone it instruction for teacher okay so you can't measure it it is not measurable please remember instructional objective is not measurable okay and uh, in in the book some words are given there are some vague words which should be avoided in the instructional objective some words are there that should be not useful that should be avoid in the instructional objective so which words to avoid to know to understand to enjoy to grasp to believe to appreciate so don't use these words okay so instead of that what you will use to write to write about write about wild animal to define define what is photosynthesis to identify the wild animals and domestic animals list some herbal plants list some medicinal plants to compare so you have we have to use the, these type of words in instructional objective so it is helpful for the student to understand see for example the student will be able to define the term of property list some and list list out some plants or something and these 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 words are not useful for the students and they will not understand okay <clears throat> instructional objective should be be concise please remember jo instruction instructional provided so that instruction instruction should be concise concise means that should be one or two word not full massive okay not be massive instruction should be one or two word in sentence be singular be singular means what you are giving one topic in that topic only one about in that topic only about one for only a singular topic only there okay not sub points sub units describe the expert behavior be realistic use definite terms use definite terms in the instruction so that the student will understand easily like that okay so friends this is all about what instructional objective if you like if you understood then please like and comment now we will learn now we will study learning objectives learning objectives so your father or your uh, see for example you are asking me beta what you learned today what you learned today in the school what you learned in the tuition today up school me kya sikha up tuition me kya sikha what you learned in tuition what you learned in dance class so learned what you learned what knowledge you got so learning objectives are statements that define the expected goals 
goal goal of a curriculum goal of a core or uh, course or lesson or activity for example one lesson is there from that lesson what you got what is the goal you got what knowledge or what skill you got okay see in a in a uh, subject or in a book so many lessons are there okay in some le in for example in in science in one chapter you study about the anim wild animals you in another another chapter you studying about the plants in another another lesson you studying about digestive system okay and another chapter you study is about the magnet so in different course and lesson a curriculum have a goal okay they want to teach they want to give some knowledge to you right so the skill or knowledge acquired the skill or knowledge acquired by a student as a result of instruction what instructions are provided from that what a the what knowledge or what skill a student acquiring okay kya knowledge kya skill ek bachcha seekh raha hai through instruction theek hai also known are ye kya hai also known as also known as learning outcomes or learning goals it's uh, learning objective is student centered it is student centered and it is measurable friends instructional objective is not measurable because this is in only instruction it provides instruction but learning objective is measurable because kitna bachcho ko kitna i or how much knowledge the student got we can measure that right so what is the importance of learning objective what is the importance of learning objective c so first we studied what instructional object objective so uh, to the teacher instruction provided and this is chapter you have to teach this is uh, this activities you have to do all that okay so in learning objective what the teacher is doing selecting the content selecting the content development of an instructional strategy the teacher making a strategy how to teach how to explain which diagram which example should give which example should give development and selection of instructional materials which material should give construction of test the teacher will कंस्ट्रक्ट टेस्ट फॉर द स्टूडेंट इवेल्यूट स्टूडेंट्स लर्निंग बच्चों को कितना समझ में आया उसको भी इवेल्यूट करेगी इट विल बी मेजरेबल सो दिस इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव नाउ विल सी एसेसमेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव एसेसमेंट फ्रेंड्स अगेन एसेसमेंट मीन्स वॉट एसेसमेंट मीन्स वॉट वी स्टडी डियर हाउ वेल स्टूडेंट हैव लर्न through assessment you will get to know teacher ko pata chalega ki how well the student have learned okay through assessment you will measure the student measure the student evaluate the student's learning outcome okay it allow the instructor or you can say teacher to check the degree how much to which the student check the degree to which the student are meeting the uh, are meeting the learning objectives see and types of it is measurable and types of assessment is there friends you know formative assessment summative summative assessment objective assessment subjective assessment formal informal referencing formative assessment fa sa okay in cbsc in uh, cbsc in english medium you can go to know fa fa sa sa is end of the year uh, fa in throughout the year okay happy like uh, after three months fa exam okay so what you know about this you can write okay so this is all about the difference between what difference between 
instructional learning and assessment objective okay dear friends so i hope you understood and thank you for watching my video and don't forget to like share and subscribe namaste